Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use our new printing tool set. Uh, we're here in my kitchen because I want to reassure you that these tools are very easy to use and you don't need any kind of specialist equipment. So inside the box we've got three tools, three different designs which we've commissioned and they're all based on original sources. And the way these tools work is just with heat. So they need to be heated up in order to actually make the impression in the fabric. So we've got two things that we can do. You can either buy um, an electric plug-in hot plate. This one is sold specifically for craft use, but you can buy just a standard hot plate off of um, you know, an online store for not very much money um, that you would use for cooking or anything else to use. Uh, or you can use a heavy bottomed frying pan uh, or saucepan actually, the, the frying pan just is easier to access. What you need to do is just put the tools onto the hot plate or the frying pan. And what you're going to have to do is just leave them for about five minutes to actually heat up. In terms of how hot the hot plate or the uh, frying pan needs to be. It's not an exact science. The way I normally do it is um, just to test with a bit of water to see if it goes tss, and that's when it's hot enough. So that's hot. That's hot. That's the test really. It needs to be able, it needs to sizzle to be hot enough. Right now the pans are hot enough. The tools have been on there for a few minutes. Um, we can try and see whether they're warm enough to actually make an imprint. Um, the only other thing you need is a cloth, like a clean tea towel or dishcloth. I folded this four times so that we've got a padded area to lay our textiles onto. The fabrics that work best, uh, in my experience, with this technique are um, satin and velvet. Um, so I've got little samples of both here. The reason that satin and velvet work best is that they've both got extra threads in the weave. So the satin has extra, what are known as floating threads on the surface, which you can print into. And the velvet, of course, has a raised pile that you can squash down flat with the um, printing tools. So we'll try it on both. You can use synthetic or natural fabrics. Um, they respond differently to the heat and the pressure. So I would definitely recommend that you take swatches of each of your fabrics that you intend to use to just get the, the heat and the amount of time you're going to leave the tool on um, just right before you do your actual thing. Obviously synthetics are not going to need the tools to be as hot or to be pressed down as long as a natural fibre. So this is 100% silk satin. Um, what I found with silk is it works best to just dampen the surface first a little bit. So just with the water mister, I'm just doing a very, very light mist over the top of the satin. And then I'm just going to take my tool, which is hot, so I'm going to take care not to touch any of this lower area where the metal bit is with my hands. The wooden handle's fine. And all I'm doing is pressing quite hard into the satin, and there's the design. And now let's try the tool that's been on the frying pan, which is the bar design. So that's the satin. Let's try a bit of velvet. This velvet is a um, rayon velvet and it's, um, it's kind of shot so it's got a bit of green on the back and these shot velvets work quite well with the printing tools. Now this probably won't need any moisture from the water um, because the pile will just sink down. So let's try again. And the bar. Let's try the circular sun ray one. Uh, 
And then the other sample I've got here is more velvet, but this is a 100% cotton velvet. We'll see how effective that is. I think that is going to need some water. Good sizzle. So that's how you do it. Of course, it looks most effective with lots of repeats of the stamp. So let's do lots of repeats. Ta-da! When you're printing a larger um, area of fabric and you want to do lots of repeat prints, you'll get a sense of how many times you can press the tool in before it needs to go back onto the heat. It's usually around three, so it's great if you've got two different stamps or even three different stamps on the go at the same time because you can swap between the two. So if I do a couple more of this one, I can pop it back on the hot plate and then do, say, three of this one. And keep going like that. So it's best and most effective with lots of repeats of um, the same design or a combination of two designs or three designs. So I can show you how far you can go. This is a gown that I made 12 years ago, no actually maybe 14 years ago, with um, my original set of stamps and uh, it probably took about a day to print this amount of velvet um, <laughs> to get the complete coverage but you can see it's really effective and it's really transformed a plain fabric into something interesting and very period. So there you have it. A new technique, quite easy to do. Um, I really hope you like these tools and you have fun using them. <laughs>